Coinbase. Coinbase. What is happening with the crypto world out there? Is it dead and buried out the door? Hasn't been flying. Now, we've had a little bit of a rise in the last year or so, but it hasn't been to anywhere near the, the top of the bubble. Was it a bubble or is Bitcoin going to go up to a thousand? That's the question mark everyone is asking. What is everyone predicting? If, the, if Bitcoin flies, then Coinbase is going to fly. Um, what do I see this company? There is a lot of money in this company. A lot more than maybe potentially I expected. I, I'm not, in full disclosure, I do not own a stock, but I'm here to do a stock analysis for you and the intrinsic value to see if this company is an absolute possible steal deal or is this an absolute ripoff. This is what you need to find out. That's what I'm doing here for you today. Again, get the financials from the net profit, the revenue, the EPS, PE ratio. We're going to look at the return on invested capital, the long-term debt, the shares outstanding, and so much more. And if you stay right to the end, I will give you the intrinsic value potentially for the stock that maybe you can buy. This is not financial advice. Do all your own research and invest at your own risk. But we're here today to look at Coinbase stock analysis right here, right now. Welcome guys and gals back to the channel. We're going to look at Coinbase Global today. Yes, Coinbase is all about crypto. That's all I need to say. We don't need to say anything else. It buy, sells, and everything in between. Crypto, um, it is one of the places you can buy crypto if you believe in Coinbase. But they have competitors like Binance and the likes. But Coinbase is one of the big ones out there. So let's have a look right now at what the actual stock is doing. Is it any chance of being any good? Yeah, so they're pretty basic example. Um, Coinbase is just a company that you can buy and sell online to get investments into cryptocurrencies, not just Bitcoin, everything in between. Now, is this company profitable at the moment, folks? Well, potentially it is. Um, the revenue is um, a little bit of a gone down burger. Um, obviously, at the hype, 2021, 7.3 billion. 2022, we're looking at 3.1 billion. Now, 2020, end of 2023, there's 2.6 billion. So they've been losing revenue. They need to turn that around. That's a big... But on the other side, they are starting to return to um, better financials with minus 2.6 billion to minus 735. If they can turn that to zero or even a profitability in 2024, Coinbase could skyrocket. Um, but the earnings per share in minus 0 0.99 is not good. So obviously no PE ratio for this company. The 52 week range on the stock is 46 compared to 187. And it's around 120 at the moment. So that's it. just above middle range. If you got it at $46, congratulations. You're potentially onto a winner. But are you? Maybe not even at $46, you'll find out in the intrinsic value time, folks. Um, there's no dividend on the stock, so no, no, nothing to write home about there. Um, short interest, pretty high, 8.4%. Um, I suppose when you're negative, you're going to have some short interest, but this company's probably more secure than some of the others, but obviously it's all relying on crypto, so crypto goes to the end of the world, then obviously Coinbase will be destroyed, which a lot of companies has, have been destroyed. This company has stayed alive, so that's Kudos to them, they've done well. Market cap of $29 billion. Um, I thought that was pretty high. I thought they might have not been so high, but obviously Bitcoin, it's a money-making machine. Um, total assets is absolutely flying up. $89 billion to $127 billion, but so is the liabilities. $84 billion to $121 billion. That's just craziness, folks. Craziness. Uh, total liabilities is way too high for me. Long-term debt as well isn't that great, but it's not not too bad considering. 3.3 billion in 2022, down to 3 billion, so they got it down a little bit. And um, obviously their free cash flow has been struggling as well. 1.8 billion lost in 2022, and but jumped to 876 million. So they actually went profitable in 2023. So in the free cash flow sense, so um. Interesting times, so they can pay their long-term debt it would be interesting. Um, shares outstanding, you've just been diluted like absolute, like there's no tomorrow. Absolutely diluted machine. And the return on the festive, oh, it's 239 million shares outstanding, folks. The return on the festive capital is minus 1.1%, so they are not really doing much for your value dollar or the investor's dollar. 
and they really need to turn that around big time. Big time indeed. So what's Coinbase pros and cons? Well, it's pretty much, I'm putting it down, it's down to one thing and one thing only. You don't need to look at anything else, and maybe you could say two. Bitcoin all the way. You could add Ethereum if you want, but outside of those two stocks, no, those two cryptos, the other ones are just so minute, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it's Dogecoin and the likes, um, and anything in between. So, to me, what do I see with this company? Um, I believe crypto is here to stay, but there's no guarantee. Like, I can't put my heart in my heart and say it's definitely going to happen. I mean, it could clearly just fall off the cliff. Um, it's going to be interesting times ahead with this company. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm not sure. And then if you look on the other side, on the negative side, obviously a Bitcoin and a clear employer, this company will go. Simple as that. So 29 billion, you can lose a lot of money investing in the stock if you put a lot of money into it. So that's the risk you take um, with, with crypto. Again, you can make a small play on the stock, but let's get to it before we even talk about all that. Intrinsic value of Coinbase. Well, I use trade range, this is not, um, this is free, nothing, I don't get any money out of this. Um, trade range side, um, you look at the current share price, we look at the earnings per share, growth rate that you decide, and then the bond yield, you can look this up and look it on Google easily, and it gives you an intrinsic value at any moment in time where you can project where the future will go. So, um, look, uh, the current share price is going to move. In time of recording but i'm going 125 roughly just give you an estimate you can put it up and down in this calculator yourself to get yourself an intrinsic value that works for you um earnings per share are minus 0 0.99 um there's a chance there um with the growth rate um of five percent with the current bond yield you're looking at um 19.1 minus dollars Yes, minus. Um, and then if we go up to 10%, you're looking at minus $30 virtually. So, you know, current, everything going currently on just that side of things, um, yeah, it's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good at all. Um, do I see potential? Well, as I said before, we'll get to that in a minute. But I'm um, 125. Now, we're going to profitability of 0 0.5 and 10% growth. Then you're looking at a $14.90 stock. Yes, folks, $14.90. And that's going positive. So is there a whole lot of hoopla in the stock at the moment? Or or is it just completely wrong? Is this base is completely wrong? Now, remember when I said $46, which was the low of this company in the last year? Um, so if we look at $125, a one earnings per share, $1 per share, at 15% growth rate, you get $46. Bang on what perceived good money is. But well, what do you do? Do you sell out fix? Do you sell all that money and go, well, let's go to China? Well, currently, it's definitely no for me. Absolutely no show I would buy into this company with this. So, if you're looking at currently, there's a one, one to look at. You've got to look at the earnings per share to grow to three. At a 15% growth rate to get the current share price, or you need the growth rate to be like 40% or even more, or 50% to get to for for just a positive 0 0.5. Um, it's just an absolute no go for me at this stage. Absolutely no go. That doesn't mean this this is not a profit making machine. Coinbase could just one of those companies like crypto that are sometimes overvalued all the time. Coinbase could be one of those companies that's just overvalued all the time. So really it should be lower, but it's always going to have a premium. So just some stocks are like that. They're always like that, always have been. And some stocks are undervalued quite notoriously. So yes, um, but to me, I the positives obviously is net profit is getting, if they get to net profit, that's a possibility in 2024, if they do that. Um, but the danger is revenue's dropped big time. They really need to turn their revenue around. Obviously not as much trading, um, and that's going to be in their books if they just get like a little beat. I mean, the stock. Obviously, there's a lot of people in it, 29 billion, but I think 
that is pretty much just every Bitcoin person because it's pretty much the only Bitcoin one of note on the stock market. So um, um, Coinbase to me is just to stay away in my opinion. Uh, I'm not saying you can't make money. I just can't see where the money's coming from to suggest that the current price is deserving of being a buy. $46 even is a bit of a... <laughs> Really, if you want my true, true opinion on where the stock should be price-wise right now, if you really wanted to even look at investing in the stock, it's, it's never going to go there. It's absolutely ridiculous what I'm going to say, but $5, yes, $5. If it went to $5 somehow, maybe I'd invest in this company, but they are clearly, clearly, uh, um, from what I've seen, though, there's, there's no doubt this company could make money. But 122, I think you're just paying way too much of a premium and there's better options out there to make money. I think if you're buying at the current share price, as I said, it went to 187, so it can easily blow up again. Um, but obviously it's relying on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin does well, then this, this company will do well. And if you believe in Bitcoin, you think it's going to be the future, not financial advice, but you just keep buying this, buying the stock. But to me, I just don't know enough. I can't say... Um, heart and heart that this, they can do it so I'm leaving myself out of this but anyway thank you much this is Coinbase so just giving you a little bit of a stock analysis and intrinsic value just to get more understanding about the stock do more research before you invest into any stock remember to like and subscribe to the channel and I'm back here every single week with three videos a week just for you on finance have a great day out there